Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers. From time to time, we tell you about some of our hometown heroes. The Hometown Heroes program is sponsored by Comcast and the Bay Area News Group. And with me in the studio now is one of the hometown heroes, Benito Delgado Olson. He is the co-founder and executive director of K to College. And thanks for stopping by. Well, thank you for having me. And congratulations on being a hometown hero. Well, thank you. Tell me, what is K to College? How did it get started? Well, sure. Uh, K to College is an organization I founded with some colleagues my senior year at UC Berkeley. We're a nonprofit public benefit corporation that seeks to provide tangible resources to low income students who, in all likelihood, would otherwise go without them. And so, our first two programs to that end are the School Supply Initiative and Dental Kit Initiative, where essentially we can provide a low income student with $65 to $70 worth of school supplies and a dental kit for only 22 bucks. And so last year, we did that for 170,000 kids in uh, the Bay Area in 24 different school districts, and we're getting ready to uh, expand throughout the nine county Bay Area and complete that Bay Area loop. And we're all excited about it, and uh, so far, so good. How are you able to do this so cheaply? Uh, well, really, you know, it just speaks to our business model. Uh, there are often independent efforts to sort of address this material resource gap that's so prevalent, especially now, in uh, public education, both primary and secondary. But, you know, there's not a collective, collaborative effort that partners with the districts and with business and with all these other types of partnerships you can have with government to really drive down costs. And so what we do is say, hey, we're going to represent the total need. Poor is poor, whether you're in an inner city, a suburb, or a rural community in one of our northern counties. The same financial constraints exist for a family who is low income. And so what we do is fundraise on behalf of all those students. And by doing that, we're able to drive the prices dramatically low by buying in bulk, factory direct, shipping from the point of manufacturing to the point of assembly to the child's hand, cut out all the middlemen. And so that's, you know, that's something we always try to explain is that when you go to the market and you buy something, you know, a pack of pens or a pack of pencils or what have you, you're paying for the cost of manufacturing, the cost of labeling, probably five or six warehouses it's been to before that, the cost of the store, and of course the cost to operate the store. And so by doing this, we cut down on all of that. We cut out the middlemen, we cut out the overhead. Last year we had 0.7% overhead, even though we distributed $170,000, $65 kits. And you brought along one of the kits that shows what it's like. Um, and so this is what the kid gets. Tell me, tell me what's in the kit. Well, sure, I took out a few of, uh, of the choice items here, but it, it's basically the essentials and more. So you get your pencils, your pens, markers, crayons, glue, two glue sticks, uh, a, a thick white board that's lined on one end and clear on the other end to practice math, uh, construction paper, binders. The way we really determined what goes into a kit is we actually partnered with uh, the public policy school at UCLA and had them survey about 1,000 teachers with uh, the leader of their group, someone named Katie Manis. And uh, what we found there was, you know, the experts, the people in the classroom, the teachers, and they made the determinations of what goes into these kits and how we break them up. And so there's, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, how does a kid get one if, if a kid wants to get a kit? Well, we partner directly with school districts. Our philosophy is we find the people who are the best at every step of our process. And then the case of distribution at school districts. They know who their Title I kids are, they know who their homeless kids are, they know who their foster youth are, and they have the administrators in place that can get them to them. So if we see a school is 70% enrolled in the free or reduced price meal program or more, we say that's a school that serves a low-income population, we're going to cover it outright. That being said, if it's a district like Berkeley or Oakley or a number of others where there's a lot of low-income kids but they're not concentrated to one school, what we do is we partner with the district and find a way to do a centralized distribution so you can still reach those families and nobody gets missed. Well, thank you for doing what you do. I'm sure there are lots of happy kids when they get one of these packets. Well, thanks so much and for having us. And congratulations again on being a hometown hero. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I hope you'll be with us again next time. Bye-bye.